Hello, good evening. What's up, William? Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm good. I'm having dinner. Oh, good. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks. Let's wait for the others. Hey, Gracia, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. Have you ever used Gamma, Gracia? Mm. To create a presentation? No, I haven't. It's supposed to use artificial intelligence. Intelligence. Oh, really? That will be handy. Actually, it sounds very interesting. Someone, someone shared the link to use it online, I guess. Hmm. Sounds like fun. We'll try it later. Oh, we're studying. Hmm. Hmm. So today is our 15th class. Class number 15th. 10 more classes and you're off to go. Yay. <laughs> uh I was wondering about like the next course that they offer for the TOEFL preparation. They oh, really? Me... Yeah, they sent me some information about it. I'll let them know. The... No, no, no. I received the information, but do you know anything about it? No, to be honest with you, no. Okay, thank you. But I'll find out because I'm interested too. If you want to, I can send you the message that No, do you know what? Uh, no, I'm asking someone from admin to send the information to our chat because all of you are finishing this course. So it will be a great idea to have in mind, you know, like what's next, right? What else can you do? Hmm.
So tell me something, guys. Hey, hello to your classmates. Come on. We're in the 15th class and I'm the only one opening the conversations all the time. Come on. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? I just get into the meeting. I thought that you were doing Yeah, but the 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 <laughs> feeling, you know, the the oh my god. <laughs> I'm just eating. I'm just having my din my dinner. No, oh, just... that's weird. Why? My dinner. Right. No, but yeah, like... a good coffee. The the time oh. for the dinner you said? No, I mean it's it's not usual that you're eating during the class. Uh -oh. Yeah, I know about today it was That doesn't uh, happen. Never. What happened is that remember on Friday my computer. I'm just playing well, with you. <laughs> I know you're kidding. Relax. <laughs> it's like me. I just realized that today is my Friday. Oh really? I hate it. You know, it's like wait, today is Monday, so tomorrow is my last day working, and <gasps> I have a day off on Wednesday. Yeah, it's I remember you so told me Wednesday weird. is Sunday, right? I have always had Sundays off for the time I have been working for call centers. 18 mm -hmm. years, 18 years. It's always been Sunday. <sighs> and it's because we we do something on Sundays with the kids that Jewish Jewish used to do. Um, it's called, um, we do, uh, oh my God. God doesn't want me to remember the name. I have to say, <laughs> I have to say, loudest, loudest, we do loudest with, yeah, with the salterios and everything, you know, on Sunday, it's like transmitting faith to, to our kids. That's like the most important thing. That's why we don't yeah. work, when we don't work on yeah, Sunday. You're Christian. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm not Christian. I'm trying to be <laughs> hoping no, I will but, ever. But you believe in God. That's important. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I have seen him. So. <laughs> I cannot at this point after 25 years in church I cannot say I, I haven't seen him you know it's like yeah it's, it's multiple very difficult situation, no 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 I, it's, it's serious I mean at this point it's something so serious you have no idea it, but, but wow it's just unbelievable I'm actually thinking about concentrics because <laughs> of that reason because you know and they said to me, you know, you know what Sunday means, right? And I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so it is what it is for now. Yeah. Uh, give me just a minute. So. Mm Okay. By the way, today I went to pick up my kids at school and it was pouring. It wasn't raining. It was pouring. And for the first time, I had no windows on the car yet. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> what a story you had today. <laughs> but my car, my car doesn't, doesn't run. It flies. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I prove it. I prove it today. The kids were like, oh, my God, Dad, hurry up. We're getting washed. <laughs> it was an adventure for them. That's nice. We're going to we're gonna get drowned. <laughs> I said, oh, my God, I forgot the huacal, you know, to take the water out of the car. Oh, my God. It was very funny, but but it's just being with me, you know, as a father is an adventure. And I like I just it. can't imagine, believe me. <laughs> I, I like it because, oh my God, especially on that car, you know. Have you heard the song? Which one? Have you heard the song? The song, uh, um, I forgot the lyrics and my kids love that song when we're, when I'm driving on my car. Oh yeah. Oh my God. From, oh yeah. Yeah. Vamos de paseo. <laughs> there was that was a, a TV show, right? 
Wait, I don't know. <laughs> I remember. That's like bullying for me, you know. No, my, no, come from on. my kids. No, they they, <laughs> they do bullying on me, my kids. Okay, guys. Tonight we have the midterm review. But first, and now that we are, let me see. Um, we are 11, so let's do the attendance really quick and we move on to the next stage, okay? Okay, so I have Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Yeah. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, sorry. Present. Excellent, okay. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Present. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. So if it is not here tonight, Juan Miguel Brown Mejia, I guess he's still in the States. Yep, Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Hello, teacher, good evening. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Cool. Thank you guys for being here. So punctual. So we can have an awesome class. First, uh, let me tell you the topic for tonight, as I was saying, is the midterm review and practice. Something that goes on the lesson planning is to have you practice in punctuation marks, which is a long exercise we're going to do. But it's just paragraphs, you know, not paragraphs, but um, sentences, I shall say, that you're going to use punctuation marks on. Now, a challenge for you that I have is, is not just periods and colons, you may also find semicolons, uh, commas, what else? Parentheses. So you can have fun, you know, discussing among yourselves, you know, what, what's going on here, right? What do we have to do? Um, also, we're going to review the platform. Tonight is the last day for you to finish the midterm if you haven't gone that far, some of you have actually finished the, the platform, which is really good. That's surprising. Thank you. Thank you. In the end, remember, that's like one of the requirements for you to graduate. Now that your graduation is closer, is more serious, let's say. Okay. And just a friendly reminder, and as part of your graduation, let's say, or your module conclusion, I believe you will be given uh, some sort of yes. certificate. We are, teacher, I was about to ask you after this course, we are invited to have a, like a preparation card for the TOEFL? For the TOEFL. How? Yes, okay. that's what Gracia was telling me. I already requested administration to send the information to our chat on mm -hmm. WhatsApp. Yes, they already requested the papers for um, our company. Now, how many courses are these? Just one or two for the preparation? I have no idea. Ah, okay. As okay. I told you before, I, I like stepped away from teaching for a few months. Um, okay. I don't regret it. Economically, I do, but eh, I'm actually knocking rock bottom mm. currently. So, yeah. But I, I'm, I have faith, you know. I, I know that Things will get better. At okay. this point in my life, is like, and I do have been there, right, Anna Claudia, as well. I, yeah, I guess. Of course, in the when, home, and you go down. And, eh. and once you learn eh, to climb up and and climb down, it's funny. Oh, now it's down. Tomorrow will be up, and you go up and down, up and down. Do yes. better, and that's it. The whole point is not to stop working. That's the whole exactly. thing. Exactly. So find Don't stop find, believing. <laughs> find your way out now. Come on, Journey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my song. I relax, love Steve song. Perry. Relax, Steve Perry. I love <laughs> I love Journey, not just that song, but the whole the whole story of Journey. His you know. Boys. Wow. This man reminds me to oh, it was the name of this other singer, England singer. St Sting? <sighs> no, 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 no. 
uh, the man who sings the passion. Paul Stewart. Paul Stewart. Oh. Yeah. His, yeah. Uh, his voice reminds me of Paul Stewart's voice. <laughs> uh, yeah, but not that much. Steve Perry is like, whoa. <laughs> uh, so tragic what happened in the end. But anyways. Okay, so I have some sentences that I want to share with you. They go from one to 20. It's not that difficult. All you have to do is put the punctuation so we can review it together really quick. And that's gonna be the first um, exercise. Then we move on. Um, and again, we are 13, no, we're 12. My God, David, David, me, we're 11. We're living. My math is failing. So I'm going to split you really quick and I'm sending you through the chat here in Zoom and through WhatsApp. 20 sentences. Yeah, they fit it here. And I'm sending them on WhatsApp as well. All you have to do is discuss, please discuss with your classmates where to add what punctuations, uh, what kind of punctuations you need to add. Let me see. Uh, you can add semicolons, colons, dashes, quotation marks, italics. Remember, we, we saw that. You can even use underline if needed and parentheses where uh, whatever they are needed. Okay, these are the instructions and it's very simple. I know you will do it. Okay, now if you see somebody doubting, please help and discuss. That's very important to discuss. Okay, I think you're right. I think you're wrong. Okay, let's do it. Okay. You may share your screen with a whiteboard if you want. Well, I think uh, the first one should be the man in question. Um, maybe dash. What, what do you think? <clears throat> mm, I think that could be a column. The main question, column. Harold King. Jim Peterson and Gerald Green deserves awards. Okay. Mm. Please remind me which one is the colon. 
Los putos. Ok. <risa> Thank you. Andrea en coma. The many no. questions. The many questions. Harkin. Or maybe a, a coma. Oh, it's good. Uh, the colon. The colon, I think. Okay. The okay, colon, the colon. Harkin, coma. Universal coma. On your agree? Sir. Words. Ah, you do ah, the comma after general green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay, number two, several countries. No, 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 no. I just found the answers. <laughs> 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 and we are wrong. <laughs> Okay. And which one? Which Come one? on, don't cheat. <laughs> That's not all right. She's cheating. I can't I'm believe sorry. it. You just broke my heart. <laughs> I'm it's sorry. Okay, don't look at him. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's just supposed to be a uh, parenthesis, but I think Colin and, yeah. I, th I thought that colon and, and the coma behind green was should work. Patient to serve. Okay. Oh, so on the second one, I, I do think it has to be a yeah, colon. Colon? Yes. After air, air lift? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's no room for error. I think that. Gracias. Are you sharing a whiteboard from Zoom? Yeah. And you made it editable for everybody? Yeah. Yes. No, I can't. Yes, you can if you click on it. Yeah. See, there, there's your name. Oh my God! Why? I, is this a new tool? Because I, all right. Oh my Come God! Come on, be too. I had never used it. I swear. <laughs> I, and I was expecting them to do it for a long time because I always use Jamboard, for example, from Google. Wow. This is it. Now Zoom is the thing. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Okay, keep going, guys. I'm sorry, Diana, you were saying? Question? Uh, question or quotations? No, quotation. There's no room for errors, said so the engineer. So? There's no room for errors, said the engineer. So, after so, maybe a comma? What so? do you think? We have to double check every See, time. So we we have to double no. check every population. There is no room for errors, said the engineer. Mm, mm. Maybe comma no. So so we have maybe without continue. comma. Without comma. Without comma. In mm. in a quotation or, or comma. Comma is better comma than quotation. Comma. So we have to double check every calculation. I think uh -huh. comma. You did carwards. Comma. Later, Later to be nominated the for the yeah, Supreme for Court. The Supreme Another Court. comma. It's okay. As rule against. As rule against civil rights. Maybe coma coma. Okay, number five. Ah, in last, in last week's week. New Yorker, one of my favorite magazines. I enjoy it. It's uh, a name. New Yorker. New Yorker is a name. Okay, 
is in last week's maybe comma last week's no New Yorker one of my favorite magazines New Yorker you reading no. Lina and Sari Color How Not to Go Camping mm. uh, Okay I'll, Almost sleeping now. Okay, in last weeks. <laughs> my coma. No. In no coma. Week, in last no. week's New Yorker, one of my favorite magazines. I enjoy reading Leland's article. Maybe here is a, we have a quotation, maybe. Yes. How to how not to go camping. Como no acampar, how not to go camping. Okay. Yes, he said. He said. I'll, I'll be, be home, home by, 10. James. by 10. I'll be home by 10. That is correct. Mm. There was only one thing to do, coma. Study till down. <laughs> okay, Montaigne wrote the following. Colon. Colon, a wise, mm -hmm. a wise, a wise man, man never loses anything. Loses anything if he has himself. Okay, it's a good quotation. A wise man, I would love to think. Yes. Mm -hmm. If he has himself. He has himself. Um, Interesting question. I think I will use it. A wise man, I would love to think. If he has himself. Okay, the following are the primary the colors. Primary colors. Column. Mm -hmm. Column, yes, red, blue, blue and, yellow. and yellow. Arriving at uh, eight. On the eight. Arriving on the. Where is? The underline, no. Mm. Semi. Arriving on the hyphen plane, maybe coma, where Liz Brooks, my old roommate, my old roommate, her husband, and Tim Jorson. Liz Brooks. No, this my mate. This group. Uma. My home roommate, her husband. Where? Her mm -hmm. Comma. And he. This groups. Some words. Several countries. Several. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Several countries in the comma, the next two countries, several countries participating in the air life, Italy. Several countries makes sense. Do you think that we need to add quotations in air life, Italy? No, what is air life? It's an event, what... I think it's an event because. Uh -huh. In the early. Maybe in the early. I guess it's an event that is mentioned in uh -huh. Italy, Belgium, France. Maybe two two point early. Hello. Early. Two points. Uh, in next to early. Ah, and next to early. You're right. Uh -huh. I agree with that. Because Maybe. he's yes, he's making a list, right? Early. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, because so several countries participate in the airlift. 
two points, and then Italy, Belgium, France, and Luxembourg. Yes, makes sense. I agree. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Francisco? For me, it's, it's I agree. I agree with you. With both of us. <laughs> two points. And let's, at the end, is with the, is showing the, the point. Okay, number three. There's no room for error, say the engineer. So we have to double check every calculation. Ah, okay, we need to have quot quotations. Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, quotation is the name, right? I always forgot that. Uh, quotation marks, I'm sorry. There's no room for error. Uh, so we need to have quotation mark in the what he said. There's no room for error. Because after that, he's explaining, say, the engineer. So we have to double, say, the engineer, comma. So we have to double check every calculation. There's no room for error. Yes, we need to add put a, quest, a quotation mark. There's no room. Uh, in this uh -huh. case. Uh, we move to the comma mm -hmm. uh, after that engineer. Uh, there's no room for error, say the engineer. Mm, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yes, we can move the comma after engineer. The engineer. Comma. So we, the, we have to double check every calculation. Okay. So we just adding a quotation mark and moving the comma, right? And then number four, Josh Carswell later to be nominated for the Supreme Court has ruled against civil rights. Okay, number four. Josh Carswell later to be nominated for the Supreme Court. Roma may be next to court for the Supreme Court had a rule against civil rights. Roma. Mm. Mm. Judge Caswell later to be nominated. Maybe, why don't we add, because to separate, Judge Caswell, comma, later to be nominated for the Supreme Court in comma, the comma that you say, and then had ruled against civil rights. So, George Carwell, comma, later to be nominated for the Supreme Court, comma, the comma that you're saying, has ruled against civil wars, civil rights, because we are providing a, a what's the name of this? But we need to add two commas here after Josh Carswell later to be nominated for the Supreme Court because we are explaining additional information and after court, the comma that you're saying. What do you think? Josh Carswell. Josh Carswell, comma. I don't know because you use comma when when you mm -hmm. refer for in this case are you for example uh, um Ana Claudia you uh, Ana Claudia uh, comma uh, you you are okay because I refer I I refer a you but in this case, maybe no, because I refer at other person, but no is is uh, in the first person. Mm -hmm. For example, yeah. in when you you write a a letter, mm -hmm. you use comma next to the name mm -hmm. because you refer at the the, the, the same person. But mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember very well. Uh, I don't know if Francis, I don't know Francis, but I think it's working. Court. 
Sorry. Uh -huh, Francisco, what do you think with the number four? Number four? Mm -hmm. Because, yes, we need the, to add a comma after court, right? Yeah, that's, but we don't know if we need to add. Because the judge made something, he has ruled against civil rights. Yeah. He made something. Uh, maybe a uh, comma uh, after so. After what? Before court. Mm -hmm. After court. Right? After yeah. Court? Sorry, after court. And that is the only comma? You think that? Maybe because the, the after... percentage will be that just the, the judge Carswell had ruled against civil rights. So we have a sentence right there. But what happened is that there is an explanation, additional explanation. And I remember that we need to separate both with commas, so Judge Carwell's comma, later to be nominated for the Supreme Court, comma, has ruled against civil rights. Yes. yes because we, mm -hmm, because we, we could leave just Judge Carswell had ruled against civil rights. That's a sentence with the subject, the verb. But I guess we need to add, let's try it that way. Add a comma after Cars, Carswell and after court. Okay. Right. Well, and uh, it's in a comma. Then we go to number sixteen. Mm -hmm. The cooperative can write, please. Hey, no bullying on me. Come on. Uh, number sixteen says in baseball. I so both is a man who shows up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Show off. Show off. Show off. Show off. I agree with Dora. A showboat is a man who shows up. What uh, What do you think, uh, Fernando? Do you agree? Sorry, I said someone talked to me. Uh, what number? Number 16. Uh, I agree with Dora about yeah. placing quotation marks on showboat. Showboat. Showboat is uh, like a or a special phrase or something like that. Yeah, right. In baseball, choice, man. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So oh, let's go to number seventeen. The minister, minister quoted Isaiah five twenty one in last say uh, last Sunday sermon. I can see the whole, the whole sentence. You cannot see the whole sentence. Mm hmm. It's like. I don't know. Oh, maybe you have to slide down a little bit. Mm, yes. <laughs> but the, sen you. the center doesn't include uh, Asaya mm -hmm. 521, say. No, it does not. There was, there was Darwin's on the original species. 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 Okay. Species. Darwin's. Uh, cause a great controversy with the period. Darwin's. Oh, there it is. 
de Neymar. De... Controversy. We need the beer. I don't know. What do you think, Steve? Mm, yeah. The last one? The last one. I think it's... I had the problem, I think, in the Spanish, in the Spanish punctuation. <laughs> Maybe a uh, Darwin's on the original species is between parentheses in uh, 19, mm. 18, 18, 16, 1869. Yes. Antis, an, an, uh, until date? No, the, the year. The year is inside the parentheses, so outside. Inside. There are some indigenous species eighteen fifty nine controversy. Possible. Could be. Maybe, maybe only the year is between parentheses. The year? What happened? Is is between the parentheses? Year. Only the year. Uh, only, only the year. Yes. Ah yes. And the name. Yes. Mm -hmm. The name in quotation or, or nothing? Mm, cows, cows, cows. Wait. Nothing. Television, television, special. Yes, it makes sense. There was on the origin of the species. Species. G. Let me go to the bathroom quickly. Okay, no problem. And you're done, right? Right issue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think everybody's done. Let me just check the last group because they were running slow. Let's see. Okay. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. We have a crazy cat. You're done, right? Are you? Yeah, yeah, we're almost we were discussing, but uh some they are like one is working, another one is doing any other thing. So yeah, we, we continue discussing. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we can go back if you want. Okay, let's go back then. Thank you.
Okay. Let's do this a little bit quick, okay? I know. Um, you might be wondering, how long will it take us to review this? Well, everybody was able to answer all of the sentences, I think. It's not that difficult. Hold on. There, here it is. Okay. Um, how are we going to do this? I'm very excited because I just discovered that thing of the whiteboard. Oh, my God. And, and also, I just built my first presentation using artificial intelligence. And it was like in two minutes. I'm like, what? Then that was low. Gracias. I'm like, ah, that was low. <laughs> Too easy, right? Have you ever tried it? Have you ever tried artificial intelligence, Gracia? I just tried it today that you mentioned it. It made a full presentation for me. Mm -hmm. Really? Gamma? Yeah. Yes, gamma. Okay, that that's so it's 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 a trend. Everybody is sharing that link. I guess they're paying something because the guy who shared it said, hey, you know what? Uh, you should subscribe it. I will thank you if you subscribe to it. I don't know. Because they're giving like a commission or something. But you can use it for free. That's very impressive. You will see. Okay, so let me, you know what? I want to do what you did. I'm going to share a whiteboard with you guys. I just have never done it. And I want to use it for two purposes today. So there's a white warrant. Everybody can edit, right? Here it comes. Now I just open a text box. Guide me, Gracia. Come on. <laughs> you can just open it. Okay. And paste the information. Okay. Now I want to make that bigger, but bigger so you can see it and edit it. Should I leave a space on each one? Yeah. Okay, you may start editing if you want, guys. All of you can type on this board. So be my guest. If you know the answer for number one, go ahead and add it. If you disagree I with one of your... Has... What? I think it already has the answers. I didn't get you. I think it already has the answers. Oh, like that's the. Let, you that's put the, the one with the answers. answers. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, will that be right? Is that okay? What do you think? Hold on. I want to lead that. Whoops. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one already had the answers. I'm sorry. Let's go 10 by 10 because there are too many. How do you say that? That, that was something else. That was cruel from you, teacher. You're too cruel. Too many questions. How do you do this thing to the left? But anyways, okay, so let's go with the first one. Whoever wants to collaborate, you can do it. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's much better. Now it fits the screen. Okay, we who did what? Who deleted it? Come on, guys. Where is it? That's the problem. That's why I don't like Jamboards. I mean, these kind of things, you know, because somebody touches it, deleted it. Okay, don't delete the board. Go ahead. The men in question, Harold Kinney, I, I think Kinney, Jim Peterson, and Gerald Green deserve a word. The men in question, Harold Kinney, Jim Peterson. I disagree with that. You know, I see column. In the beginning, we, we put a column. You put a column, right? That that makes more sense. More sense, yeah. Yeah, putting things in parentheses is like when you put something in parentheses, it's like you can speak without that these words, but not in this context. I mean, you're mentioning people who did that bigger. Be careful with your control 
Okay. Who's making things bigger? Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Oh my God, is somebody doing it? There you go. There you go. My God. No, somebody I, this. I have 50% in my, my bar. Yeah, yeah, look here. It's on 30%. Okay, I'm not touching anything because I want you to solve the problem. And this is teamwork? Okay, should I, let me go ahead and edit it then. This is not working, oh my God, guys. <laughs> so the main question, Colin, Ian, <laughs> Jim Peterson and Gerald Green <laughs> deserve awards. Several countries participated in the airlift in the airlift. What about this? Colon. Colon. Colin as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like Italy, listing, Belgium, listing information. French. Italy, Belgium, France, and Luxembourg. Okay. What? Where is my Okay, there you go. Okay. okay. There's no room for error, said the engineer. Mm. There is no room for error. Said the engineer, so... There's um, no room for error? We have to double check for every calculation. There is no room for error, yes. Well, uh, where's the quotation mark? The quotation mark. What he said. Mm -hmm. There is no room for error. Then, uh, said the engineer... Then another quotation. Uh, then, another comma, right? And then some. Um, and then after the engineer. Quotations. Comma, quotation. Quotation. Name. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. George Carswell, later to be nominated for the Supreme Court. Yeah. Those dashes apply. I totally agree with that. Um, had ruled against civil rights. This is like a point of reference. Who is George Carswell? In last week's New Worker, New Yorker, I'm sorry, one of my favorite magazines, I enjoyed reading Liden's article, How Not to Go Camping. Okay. See the last part in quotation, How Not to Go Camping. Quotation marks. I like that template. What is the name the, the article? Okay. Yeah. Quotations for the name of the article. Yes, comma. Jim said, comma, I'll be home by then, by 10. I'll be home by 10. Hmm. There was only one thing to do. Study till down. Colon. Yeah, man, mm. Quotation mark? To do. I don't know. I, I think just Colin is fine. Yes, Colon. To do. What do you think, guys? Where did you? Oh, number seven. <laughs> There was only one thing to go to do. To do, you know, uh, someone found the answers because this is from a website. Of course, I didn't make this up, but I disagree sometimes with some punctuation marks because that one at least uh, number seven. There's only one thing to do, and then they put Quotation dashes. Mark. They they put dashes on it. And if you're just just giving an instruction, finalizing the idea. Study till yeah, now. Because if you are uh, talking, I, I don't know if you can quote the same thing you do, you tell. Exactly. You cannot use quotations when you are the speaker. That will make sense. That's right. So there was only one thing to do. I will say semicolon here. What do you think, guys? Where's the semicolon? Okay. Study till down. Does that sound right? Follow who? Why Why should I follow you? <laughs> Jose Wilfredo, why should I follow you? I have this invitation to follow you. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm too old he for to, this. He wants to be your friend. Oh, on mm -hmm. what? 
on okay. Zoom. <laughs> How do you chat in Zoom? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, we're in Zoom. How is that? Yeah. Anyways, don't tell me. Teacher, let me show you something. Select Alt F4. Did you watch that TikTok at the beginning of the pandemic? No. The students told the the professor, not the teacher. This was a university class. And and the guy was very old. He didn't know how to use it. Oh, okay. Teacher, I'm really sorry and apologize for that. Don't worry. I'm, I'm joining in my cell phone. Uh -huh. And I was trying to, to zoom oh. the screen because it is so little. So that's the reason I don't know what. But I it's touched. okay, don't worry. I was confused. I, yeah, like what? It's okay, don't worry. So okay. The thing is that the students told the professor, hey, professor, select Alt F4 and you will zoom the presentation. And he he hit Alt F4 and he closed the session. Oh, he didn't know that. Oh, come on, guys. Who's moving the board? Okay. So let's continue. Monteng wrote the following a wise man never loses anything if he has himself that sounds right the following are the primary colors red blue and yellow yeah color yeah color and then red yes. comma blue comma and yellow period arriving on the a10 plane where liz brooks an old roommate well my old roommate Semicolon, mm -hmm. her husband, mm, semicolon, and team, their son. I don't know. But yeah, that's the way it is on the website. <clears throat> I see two dots here. I don't know if it's me or there are two dots. My eyes. I, I see in the. Uh, yeah. There are columns. Co columns. Before the names, these roots. Yeah, there is. Uh, Oh, no, 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 not in this no. context. No, because it's huh? in the plane where Leeds Brooks, you're not listing in in that context. You don't need, uh, when you say in this way, you know, when you describe in this way, arriving on the A10 plane where Leeds Brooks is not needed. The occupants of the plane, um, I don't know how, how to start that. If you wanted to use a column, hmm. the passengers inside the plane, or maybe the following people. The following people were inside the plane. Uh huh. Something like that. But followed by the word "where" is not so no. common. Not so common. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe describe it in a different way, David. Look at this example. Following, and then a noun, and then another noun. I believe there's a rule for that, and it's when you have a noun. You see? There's always a noun before Colin. Hmm. That's a pattern. Many in question. By the way, this is wrong. Collins go here. Okay. So I, I believe that, that that's a rule, like having a noun before the Colin, because where is a verb. So, yeah. Okay. And last part of this, the last 10, help me here, because when then we have a little presentation. I just made it in, in two minutes. Okay. So. I, if you notice, I'm not a, I'm not afraid. I'm not shame of giving you the answers or letting you know that I just did something impressive. I'm just that rolling you know? out. I'm like, yeah. Okay, here you have the answers already. Let's see. When the teacher commented that her spelling was poor, comma, Lynn replied, "Do you agree with this?" You know what? I just discovered this and it makes a lot of sense. Who's online? When you have a verb, whether it is conjugated or not, as you can see on this example, 
you may not use the the colon. Instead, you could use comma or semicolon. That's what I'm noticing. That's the pattern that I'm I'm finding. Don't you think? The answers are already great on this on these examples, guys. <laughs> if you're trying to find something that you can correct. I don't have a way to move the board. Oh, there it is. Okay. So there. When the teacher commented that her spelling was poor, Lynn replied. All the members, and semicolon, because that's what someone else said, all the members, I'm sorry, call, quotations, all the members of my family are poor spellers, period. Why not me? Hmm. Yeah. He used the phrase, you know, so often that I finally said, again, a verb in, past, in the past. I want to notice that. No, comma, I don't know. The automobile dealer handler handled 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 three makes of cars. Now you have a a noun. Now you have a noun. And then you can use the colon. Hey, this is very simple, right? Does that make sense what I'm doing? Finding sense to the use of colons? Hmm. Volkswagen's, Porsches, and Mercedes Benz. Period. Though, though, Phil said he will arrive on the 919 flight, comma. He came instead on the 1036 flight. Yeah, contrasting. Whoever, whoever thought, said Helen, that Jack will be elected class president. Whoever, who, who would ever, I think this is wrong. Who can correct this? That's not the way I will say who would, who would, who would ever thought, would ever thought, would ever thought. What is wrong with that? Oh, I don't like that. Okay, you cannot change the color of just one word. Can somebody correct that word? Whomever? Mm. <laughs> oh, you're dealing with forces that you may not know. <laughs> yeah, whom is a... How do you call this thing? It's a pronoun. Did you know? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is that this I don't think I will I think they should have said who'd ever who had ever thought quien se hubiera imaginado, right? Who'd ever thought, who'd ever thought. Said but Helen. I think that the the intention was to say quien quiera, whomever. Okay, continue. Translate the whole thing without said Helen. Um, quien quiera hubiera... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like a, a, a... Oh, my God. It's like the third conditional. Who would have thought? Who would have ever... Who would ever thought? We will be missing the auxiliary head, which is for the third conditional. Who had... Who would have ever thought, said Helen, that Jack would be elected class president? Yeah, that sounds like it. Okay. In baseball, comma, a showboat is a man who shows off. Somebody who's bragging. Okay. The minister quoted Isaiah, Isaiah 521 in last Sunday's sermon. This is just a description of what happened. One will think that, I mean, if you were just reading without paying attention, right? You needed a column there, there, but it's not needed. Okay, there was a very interesting, there was a very interesting article entitled The New Rage for Folk Singing. Perfect. In last Sunday's New York Times newspaper. 
Question for everybody. Do we need to specify that this is a newspaper? Right? I mean, it's obvious is the news New York Times. Okay. And again, whoever is elected secretary, there that applies. Whoever is elected secretary of the club, Ashley or Chandra or Aisha, even this is from Ashley, Chandra, or Aisha, right? This is too redundant. Ashley, Chandra, or Aisha. Aisha, Aisha, whatever, must be prepared to do a great deal of work, said Jumita, the previous secretary. Okay. Darwin's On the Origin of Species, 1959, caused a great controversy when it appeared. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you made sense out of this. And if not, continue practicing this is very important now don't trust me as david was saying on his on his um breakout room punctuation is very similar to spanish and english very similar and not so much when speaking it's like when you read something with a lot of you know punctuation marks same thing that happens in spanish will happen in english you will Avoid, you will not mind about the quotation marks. Let me see. So we are 12 now. Well, 11. I want to show you the presentation that I, that I made by myself. I don't know who came up with artificial intelligence, but is a very smart person. Um, a commercial. While, while you were on the breakout rooms, two things happened. Very funny with my cat. I have two cats and a dog. He was sleeping on the top of a box, totally slept, and he fell from the box. <laughs> so he woke up, and I was I was looking at him with my peripheral view. And then he moved to a little chair where he, where he sits, and my daughter had left a carton cart that we made yesterday for our homework. We made a carton cart with recycled items. And he got into the car. <laughs> so I was like, what's wrong with you, Ray? He's doing silly things today. I don't know why. Okay. That was funny. Let's go with sustainability. Really quick. This is just like four or five slides. I loved it because it was very short and very full of information, I shall say. There's not much to resume here. So, but I need your help. I'm lazy reading today. Let's see. So the first one, I didn't like that because it didn't fit the whole thing on the left, as you can see. Award the social entire, I don't know, findings from the Deloitte 2018 Global Human Capital, whatever. The symphonic C suit, sweet, sweet. Respondents who indicate their C-suite executives regularly collaborate on long-term interdependent work. There are a third more likely, 34% to expect 10% growth or more in the next year than respondents whose CO2s, for example, operate independently. So we started about sustainability, what is social entrepreneurship, Let's see if this uh, presentation actually matches what we have started. I want to see you, but I don't know where to put it. Okay, here. It is. Okay. Hoy, by Rafael Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. Okay, sustainability <laughs> social entrepreneur. Who can help me reading? Excellent, Liliana. Thank you. Okay. Sustainability social entrepreneur. A sustainability social entrepreneur is someone who uses business concepts and strategies to make a positive social and environmental impact through their products and services. Let's explore why sustainability matters and what some successful examples are. Thank you. Remember, their products. Their products. Their. Their, like their. Over there. 
Yeah, right there. Okay, exactly. there. <laughs> it's the same <laughs> thing. Yeah. Okay. Move on, Gracia. Why does sustainability matter? Sustainability matters because it ensures that our planet's natural resources are conserved and used in a way that can continue indefinitely. As population and consumption continue to grow, it is essential that we prioritize these practices. Not only is sustainability, not only is sustainability essential for the future of life on Earth, but it also creates numerous business benefits. Perfect. Environmental benefits. Uh -huh. oh, sorry, no, no. <laughs> okay, environmental benefits. Um, what we started, right? I think this is a little bit clear. Let's see, David, Capi, are you driving, Capi? Be careful. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. David, keep going. Environmental benefits reduce carbon footprint and greenhouse gas emissions protection of natural habitats and preservation of finite resource. resources. Resources. Yeah, resources. Uh, now, as we said, right, there are three pillars of sustainability, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. environmental, economic, and social. That's Those are what we are studying, let's say. We have been studying. Um, Fernando, would you like to continue with little p? teacher economic benefit increase efficiency reduce waste and costs improve brand reputation and access to new markets good and last one Dora social benefits improve social equity increase community involvement environment and overall higher quality of life Good. Okay. Equity. Equity increased. 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 And somebody tell me how can your brand improve its reputation by using sustainable or being as a, a social entrepreneurship or using social uh, entrepreneurship, you know, in their actions, let's say. becoming more sustainable for the world how can your brand get more reputation let's say i cannot make uh, a gospel uh, a grass gospel sound i wish i could <clears throat> Exactly, yes, because everybody will notice that you are trying to help the environment, right? So you will sell more products. That's in theory the reason why everybody's moving to sustainability, okay? Or you trying to become sustainable, a sustainable company. Okay, examples of successful sustainability social enterprises. Several companies have successfully combined sustainability and socially impacting their business model. Who can help? We're just a few participating. If your camera is off, I will choose you right now. Thank you. Go ahead. Patagonia. Patagonia. Since 1985, Patagonia has played 1% on its sales to preservation of natural environment. The company focuses on using sustainability materials and practices in their supply chain as well as advocating for environmental protection policies. Okay, that's one of the companies. Next, thank you, Tom's Shoes. Hey teacher, Tom's Shoes has a, a one for one program where for every pair of shoes purchased, another pair is donated to a child in need. The company also uses sustainable and responsibly sources, materials, and their products. This is interesting. However, it must be very expensive. For every pair of shoes purchased, another pair is donated to a child in need. Well, the price of the shoes may be higher, right? Yeah. I guess. 
in order to cover that. It's like a pair of cat nowadays. Caterpillars are very expensive. Okay. Ico Alf. Ana Claudia, did you fall asleep? No, I'm here. I just was about to mention that I guess that company that Tom shows shoes are the ones they give like kind of Crocs shoes. Oh. Kids. I, I guess I saw a news. Uh, That's cheating. Like that. I don't know, but they, there is a company that they for every pair of shoes they sell, mm -hmm. they provide to kids shoes, but they provide Crocs. Those type of Crocs, but but remember, Crocs has different models, right? So yeah, I don't... yeah, they're 3D printed sometimes, right? Okay, so mm -hmm. I guess I uh, need to read the Echo Alf, right? Mm -hmm. Echo Alf is a fashion company that uses recycled materials to create their products. The company has sustainability and social impact, and its core aim is to create a circular economy. Uh, through their product, through their production, product. I'm sorry, through, through their, their production, production. <laughs> production. A social impact at its core, at its core, at its core, at um, its at its core. So, so they their, pure, right? Yeah, their main core is to uh, create a circular economy through their production. Okay, and the last one, Jarvin, are you there? No teacher. Okay. Francisco. Wendy. Francisco was working. Wendy. Okay. Let me read it. Oh, Frank? Yes, you're working, right? Okay, not a problem, Francisco. I understand. Don't worry. Warby Parker produces affordable, affordable. I wear, while also donating a pair of glasses for every pair sold. They also prioritize ethical and sustainable sourcing in their supply chain. Interesting. Challenges faced by sustainability social entrepreneurs. Sustainability social entrepreneurs face various, uh, various, 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 somebody, various. Challenges, including various, 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 various my tongue. Yes. Yeah, various, right? Various challenges, including access to capital. Why? Because traditional funding sources may lack understanding or interest in sustainable ventures. Let's remember that to invest on so on a social entrepreneurship is is very risky, right? And they are called ventures, venture um, investments. Okay, market demand. Another um, challenge that you may face as a social entrepreneur is creating a market for sustainable products and services where there may not have been one before. So if there was not a market for sustainable products, Creating the market may be difficult. Can somebody give me an idea of what this is about? I would like to take David's example. Who remembers David's uh, group example of, of a project, you know? You remember? It was about education, right? Was it David? Yeah. The bank? It wasn't the bank? Yeah, David's was the bank. But who talked about educating kids and everything? When you came yes. up with your own idea, I'm not talking about the ones on the book, but the ones you created. It was a yes, foundation. We, mm -hmm. uh, we are working a heart-to-heart -heart foundation that is uh, working with the child, with children in the La Palma community and giving education, uh -huh. giving food, giving uh, education for the parents. And uh, yeah, that that part. But now, for the first time, you go into one of these little markets, let's say little communities, and you try to start a program like that. It, it's not easy because, first of all, in our country, 
they will not trust you. They will not trust you. They will go like, why? You're giving things for free? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, you see not. my point? Yes, and the people always uh, want something to win, even not only give attention to the children. They give something more. They want something more. They want something in exchange of you giving yes. them something for free. Yeah. It's amazing. There's always an interest, an interest on on things. The conflict of interest, conflict of interests. Oh my God, my tongue is really tight today. Okay, supply chain challenges, ensuring that all stakeholders in the supply chain align with the same values and goals, as we saw in the previous classes. Um, we call this uh, common thinking, right? Everybody should be on the same page. However, it's not easy to have the stakeholders or the investors um, following the main objective of the social entrepreneurship because they want their money back. They are always for the money that they invested. That's very difficult. Educating consumers, helping consumers understand the long-term benefits of sustainable products. You know, something that called my attention during this year, let's say, or in last year, has been the hydrophonic, hydrophonic plants, how you can, how you can um, plant any sort of vegetables on, the, on your backyard using just water and some pipes. Have you, were you aware of that? Hydroponic, yes. That's it's it's amazing, but I mean, it's like you want to do it. But I don't know. They, I need to be more convinced of the benefits. Have you ever tried to do that? At least with how do you say repollo in English? <laughs> <laughs> don't say it. Don't say it's it. The common, the common <laughs> one is <laughs> to see tomatoes. Is it tomatoes? No, it's more common to see lettuce. Okay. Yes, lettuce. Right? Lettuce is more. Oh, it's more easy. <gasps> it's easier. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Yes, I made a mistake. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> easier. <laughs> don't throw your, don't spill your coffee, Liana. Yeah, sorry. So yeah, this and how do you? So how do you say repollo in English? Red chicken. Ah, uh, no, 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 come on. Fried chicken, teacher. No. Cabbage. <laughs> Gracias, no, yeah, cabbage. Cabbage, that's the word. Don't say that word. Okay, so I think this is very easy, and it's because those are watery plants. I mean, they're made of water, basically. And last commercial, have you ever done uh, the cabbage soup diet? No? I just look for the information, but I know it works. Really? Yes, I have done it like three times in my life, and it works. <gasps> oh, it really works. Most a living testimony. Okay. Yes, you have to stick to the plan. That's the only thing, and you can only do it once a month. Oh. Okay. Be careful. That's very dangerous. For three days, right? No, I did. We with my wife, we do it one uh, whole week. Seven oh. days, seven oh, days. Goodness. We do two perole, mia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my Spanglish. But yeah, we, we do two big, big yeah. pans, you know. I don't know, two pots. Big, two you big know pots. what I'm afraid of the, doing that? Diet? I know, the gases. gases. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but that's that's not true. I mean, you get your body oh, get man. used gets, gets used to it. Oh. Your body gets used to it. Okay. Uh, you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> okay, but of course you have to add other vegetables like carrots, you know, and other stuff to to okay. to give it some taste. Mm -hmm. It's very important, and don't okay. wash don't wash the carrots. Okay, last uh, supply chain challenges. Yeah, educating consumers. We did it already as well. Long term benefits of doing what you're doing on sustainability on this social entrepreneurships. So how to support sustainability social entrepreneurs? How to support sustainability social entrepreneurs? Number one, awareness. Now this is a job that you and I have. Is This is not just a class, guys. I mean, 
don't you think that the world will be better if we had more social entrepreneurs and the regular businesses? What do you think? Yes. Right? It's important for everybody to call their attention to the for sustainability to, to be a, a part of our daily life, let's say. Um, sharing their stories and products with friends and family. That's the way you support the social entrepreneur. It's not like just giving him money or her money. You know, no. It's just make it, making it. Uh, there's no better publicity than the mouth-to-mouth -mouth publicity. That's true, in, especially in these circumstances. Investment supports sustainability businesses through investment or crowdfunding. Who can describe this term? Crowdfunding platforms focused on sustainable investments. You know what's crowdfunding? I guess the resources or revenue or money from the founders? From no. the investors? Yeah, from the investor. I don't know. Rick, you tell me. Okay, let's investigate. Crowdfunding. It's referred to like a, a lot of people giving out a small amount of money oh. um, for a specific purpose. Isn't that, there's another way for that very fun, very um, uh, popular among English learners because there's an activity for doing that. Um, it's called fund racer a fundraiser a fundraiser so you're talking about go find me <laughs> uh, hey, yeah i think so yeah that's one that may be one of the pages mm -hmm. uh, and you will find all kinds of fundraisers there uh, in social networks there's a lot of people trying to collect money for their own purpose or for kids with cancer any um good intention but sometimes they're not right i mean sometimes it's just a lie okay purchasing power support sustainability entrepreneurs by purchasing their products when possible and again that's very important for us to support them uh, a way that i like this government is doing it is selling eggs from little farms if you have heard about them because they're very inexpensive the white eggs and closing thoughts and call to action. The world needs more sustainability social entrepreneurs and we can all play a role in supporting them by supporting businesses that prioritize social and environmental impact. We can help create a better world for all both in the present and the future and for the future. Let's make sustainability a priority. You guys made something like this, remember? On a previous class. I don't know if we share it. Did we share your thoughts? Oh, you didn't let us do it. Oh my god, really? I don't remember. Did you did you share your, your finals? What you wrote at the end? Did you write it? When we started, when we did the um how do you call this? Brainstorm or what? The game, the game we did with the vocabulary. Oh. When uh, exactly. We lost, we lost some partner. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How do you say se pasa in English? <laughs> like when you have something and somebody else gets the same thing, you know? Because if you have noticed I'm like that right now, I'm like having these gaps in my memory and Ileana just got him. <laughs> parody? Parody, I forgot. Anyways, so that vocabulary, when we started it, at the end I told you to create a little speech, you know? Ah, a paragraph. A little paragraph. We're using uh, five, at least five words of the vocabulary. Five lines, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Five words. No. Five words, yeah, we have to choose. Really? Like three or five words and... I, I thought I said five lines. Yes, five lines. Oh. Five lines, a, a little speech of five lines. Using mm -hmm. three or five words, I remember. 
of the <laughs> of the whole you see yeah. some of the world well, okay did you write it down it will will you share it with us really quick i mean yes just but i think simple. we did share it yeah. did we did we yes yes, yes. okay no problem it's okay, don't worry. Okay, so <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry guys, I'm just too hyper today. Too much sugar. <laughs> I um I'm missing some sugar actually, but let's see. Well the rain falls. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. It was a rain in the in the mm -hmm. evening. I mean at noon. Yeah, at you noon. remember with the, the kids. That was too much. <laughs> I actually stopped at a gas station, you know. Oh. oh, yeah, the platform. Okay, now is your turn. I've been talking too much during this session. Let me just duplicate this thing before I start presenting. There's too much light on here. Sure, yeah, what, actually. What, hey. what about Teacher's Day? Oh, my God, it's the 22nd, right? I don't like Teacher's Day. I don't like Teacher's Day. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's just I lost the most important person in my life back in 2007. Oh. And he was a teacher. So he he passed away. We actually, uh, no, he didn't pass away. He passed away on the 20th. And two days later, on the 22nd, June 22nd, 2007, we took him to the graveyard. So yeah, it's a little bad memory. I don't know. But it's OK. I mean, I. Of course, I, I, I'm, I'm aware that it's Teacher's Day and it's okay. But no, we don't have a day off, let's say. At Inglés Corporativo, you, we will be here. Um, Although it is, oh no, it's Thursday, Thursday. right? Thursday, uh-huh. Yeah, if you want to send me something, and that's okay, don't worry. <laughs> you want that we request? That free day for you? <laughs> through, you know, through, I don't know, DHL. For the as Express. a general request from us, <laughs> as a gift to you. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. No, when I was on live classes, yeah, it, it used to happen all the time, you know, and it was June 22nd. Students were very emotive and showing me something. Once they actually brought a cake. Each one of them had a, a gift on these classes, on the English classes side, English Corporativo. And my boss was like, lucky you. <laughs> you know, because I was like the only one getting gifts that I remember that time. Oh, my God. Okay. So we're in the midterm, guys. I guess we all finished section two at this point. Do you have any questions with section two? There, there, there were there was the the same mistakes in the previous. Yeah, they didn't correct them. Uh, yeah, just copy and paste the ones you sent. It it worked. And we did it, right? Yeah, it's true. We reviewed this section already. Now about the midterm, let's go with it. I'm not. I haven't responded this. I haven't answered these questions. Um, so I'm expecting you to do it while I'm with you here. So choose the correct punctuation. What's your name? We did, did we do this? It's a repetition of the previous exercises, right? Isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Okay. So what's your name? An exclamation. Excellent, Eliana. I love basketball. A period. Yes, period. Period. Really? Period. A period? Really? Huh. That's my car over there. A period. I have an exam tomorrow. A period. What? Do you want to join us? A period. A question mark. Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> okay. Good. That was easy. Okay. You wish to talk about situations you like to be different. Rewrite. Be careful. Rewrite the sentences by using wish plus past tense. Are those different from the previous ones? No, I guess they are the same because I remember that I copy and paste them. I don't know. It's, it's only me and my, my screen, but I see a, a, see black, a, a black score. I don't Where? know. Yes, I can see. When it says recording. 
I, 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 here? I, this one? We can see your screen. We, we don't see nothing. <laughs> we can see nothing right there. You don't really? Use. Yeah, there was a... It's a black oh, hole. <laughs> Hi. Oh, yeah. How about now? Yes. Yes. It's now, I yes. barely was only me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. Are we okay now? Yes. Here? Okay. Okay. I wish we not have a test today. What's the right answer? Hello, guys. We are in the party. I wish we didn't have a test today. Didn't, right? The square is again right yeah. there. Between. On the left side, it's like a column. Below recorded, yeah. Now disappear. Is it gone? Yeah. Do you it's see this screen that I'm moving here? No, we're still... You are freeze the screen, maybe. Just the principal screen, but we can see the the question. Yes. Maybe you are freeze the screen. That's so weird. Hold on. Optimize for video clip. Screen one. Oh. Okay. How about now? Now, yes. Yes. Are you looking at this screen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but two. What? Yes. Yes. Part two. Okay, it says part two. That's all it says, right? You see nothing else. Okay. Okay. I wish the exercises not B. Wilfredo? Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Where it's I so wish, difficult. I wish the exercises weren't so difficult. Weren't. Did I write it on the wrong place? I'm sorry. These exercises weren't so difficult. A little space, yeah. Okay. I wish we. Lived. 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 So we just need the verb in past. Mm -hmm. We lived near the ocean, near the beach. Okay. Do you ever wish you can travel more? Could travel more. Do you ever wish you could travel more? With question mark at the end. Okay. Oh, you could travel more. Okay. There's two spaces now. I wish. I were. Can I use I wish I was? Hmm. 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 There's a mistake with this. We cannot pluralize math. But that's the right way. Okay, what happened here? The that happens to me too, teacher. Apostrophe? Okay. No, the period. The period? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. No. No. It should have a, a period. I think the problem is the apostrophe. 
what I did was to copy the apostrophe from the previous exercises that we sent. Yeah, that's true. There is another. So what I will do in this case is. Oh, but I cannot do it. Hold on. Mm. We don't have an apostrophe in the sentences. So, okay. Here, that's the right one, but it won't take it. Well, well we're all clear that that's the right answer, right? I wish this exercise is... Uh -huh. Maybe changing. I, I wish guess, we yeah. did not. Uh, we instead of yeah. I, I wish I. Oh, I wish. Oh, I wish. Oh, we. We. Uh -huh. hmm. Okay, let me contract it. But I got it contracted and it's okay for me. Let me just. You get it right? Yeah, I remember that. I guess I copy and paste this one. Okay. This is what I have. Let me. We didn't have it's a test today. The ones that you sent before, I guess. Let me but see. now I, I believe that you need to add the period. I did. Is that why how I got it? The first one and the second one. Let me just copy and paste. I don't remember if these are the ones that you sent before. I don't remember. But I made two of them in my phone, not in the platform, and it worked. On, on my phone. On my phone, I'm sorry. It's okay. Something I don't like about these chats in Zoom and Teams is that you have the emoji icon showing up every time, you know. Yeah, it's just the apostrophe as Gracia mm -hmm. said. So I wish this exercises were not so difficult. Okay. Mm -hmm. Huh. We have to go through these guys. I'm sorry. So the final total of an account balance sheet or other financial document. Bottom line. Bottom line. The opportunity or possibility to do or deal with something. So. <clears throat> scope. Scope. There to do something or go somewhere that may be dangerous or unpleasant. Venture. 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 Good. Financial support given to people in need. Welfare. 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 And last, professional review organization, quality improvement organization, managed care and independent or sponsored group of physicians or other appropriate peers. Peers organization. That's, that's a crazy definition. And yes, I'm going to get 100 here. Okay. I wish I could, could play the cool. piano because it's a something that you could do. I wish they would. would. Is, it, is this under your control? No, right? So, would. Okay. Por cierto, alguien vio esa conferencia en la que les dije los últimos 10 minutos que me quedé solo, les dejé algo ahí? Do you remember? No. No, you didn't watch that? Uh, no. One day I stood without a student, you know, last 10 minutes, so I didn't know what to do, and I didn't want to push you to stay the 10 minutes. Nobody wants, wanted to stay. It was a Friday, I think. So I recorded the uses of models, how to use models. I'll go through WhatsApp. So you I can just see click, and, and, but I didn't start to watch it. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, my God. I can believe. It was a day that I had issues with the power outage and the internet. So... Ana Claudia, you and I will always have issues, and that's okay. 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 I wish I. Either could be used here. Yes. <laughs> I, I just remember the answers. Okay. I wish I. Either could be used here. <laughs> yes. I wish I. Mm -hmm. Had. 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 Very good. Had. 
It's literal the way it is had. Okay, and that was it, I think. Yeah. So now you have the answers if you haven't completed the um the midterm exam, please go to the platform and do so. That's very important by the end of tonight. Who was the last person who stood on Friday? Who stood on Friday? Teacher, I am having problem with the last one of the part two. I don't know what is happening. The, the fourth previous was okay. Can, can you? Sure, sure, sure. Right away. Can you write the last one? Let me Put see. Oh, okay. I, I thought you were. Well, let me check which one you're referring to. This one? Larry Page, the answer? No, so no, 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 no. The, the second part of the, of the mid midterm. Oh, yes. okay. The last one, number five. Is... Number four. No, number five. Oh. No, previous. Second part. Okay. Previous that. This one, the last one. I wish I were better. At math. Yeah, I just have to be literal. Although that's a that's an error for me. You cannot literalize and intangible. Okay, idea. Okay, thank you. That's it. Yes. Okay. Is that it? Is that it? Sorry. Okay. So we're done. Basically, we're missing ten minutes. What do you want to do? Okay, let's have an interview, shall we? Let's say that you're applying for a job today. Okay. And I would like to interview one of you who wants to be interviewed. It's me, teacher. I... Okay, David, not a problem. Everybody else, you are the coordinators, account managers, whatever you want to call it, okay? And uh, the last filter in this case will not be me. It will be Gracia, okay? <laughs> okay. I, I just hired Gracia and she is like my um, account manager, okay? And Claudia could be the team leader, but I'm thinking about it, so... I'm just a human resources agent. I'm going to interview David, okay? So, <clears throat> good evening, David. How are you tonight? I'm fine. How are you? Excuse me? I am fine. What about you? I'm doing awesome. Thanks for asking. So, David, um, you're applying to this position. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, I, I like to uh, do the things in the best way. I like to uh, learn from my partners. I learn, like to learn from the environment, and I like to be improving in technology. And I think I can do the job in the best way. Really? Okay. How did you find out about us? Uh, I get from a... a, a uh, side that the public, uh, when I send my my resume, I I get an, an, an advice that uh, you are hiding for this position. Oh, okay, that's good. And how are you in social networks? Uh, how are you? I uh, how am I? How am a sorry. Repeat the question, please. <laughs> Don't worry. Give me your resume. We are going to call you. Thank you very much. David didn't make it to the account manager. Great job, David. Don't get nervous. It's just general questions. And, and um, <clears throat> don't stop talking. So mm -hmm. how are you on social networks? Could mean two things, right? What could it mean? How do you do that? I, I do good, I do great, I do... Uh-huh, uh, so. uh-huh. Is that a right question, by the way? Yes, yes, it's a good question. But I, 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 have a, I get confused confused by it because I... Uh, we always ask for uh, the name that you have in social media. And, uh, 
for, for the reason my brain that's the second to... yeah that's the second meaning uh, of that question yes um how are you on social networks um how can i find you on social networks uh, okay. how do you do with social networks uh, that's the best way of doing it but i have heard that yeah how are you on social networks okay areas of improvement really quick scenes things 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 remember things not things, 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 things. I get, I guess, final sounds. At this point, all of you need to work on final sounds. Don't rush the words, just the final sounds. I guess, I guess, yes. Okay. And resume, in resume, my resume, resume. Okay. And the other thing is when you resume a movie, you pause it and then you click play again and it says resume. Okay, David, who should we interview next? <laughs> next. Let's see if they make it with Gracia. Gracia, go thinking about crazy questions. <laughs> Maybe Fernando? I knew it. I don't know why. I knew you were going to say mine. Fernando. <laughs> okay. okay. Fernando. Thank Hello. you. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good Welcome. Evening. Thank you. <laughs> so, hi. Hi. Are you here for the interviews? Yes. Thank you for the interview. I'm oh. interested. Oh, my. Good. Okay. Okay. We're hiring someone for the sales department. Uh, have you ever been on sales? Uh, no, I don't have experience, but I will try my best. Thank you very much. Give me your resume. We're going to call you. Okay. <laughs> Never say if you're really hungry, you know, if you're really hungry to work, if you really need a job, don't say you don't have the experience. This is a trick. Okay. If you are sure that is a very serious job, like, I don't know, getting hired for Coca-Cola or something like that, where you're really going to use the experience you have on sales, then yeah, be honest. But if you're applying for a call center, for example, you know, sales is just sales, you will be trained. That's my point. Mm -hmm. You will be trained on sales techniques and everything. Okay. So let's do it again, Fernando. Welcome. Welcome. As I was telling you, the job is for sales. I'm glad to hear that you kind of have some experience. So tell me about yourself. Okay. Um, so I, first of all, I am a, I'm father of two children. So I have a family and I have a, a big responsibility. So I had experience in my previous job and uh, sell um furnitures selling furniture uh, furniture is related i i have worked in uh in a store by department so i have experience in various uh department various areas hmm. and i don't know i have two years in that in the business that's awesome very good I think we could use your experience on sales. Um, tell me one big challenge you have faced in life. Oh, one big challenge. So it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult. I faced it many, many challenges in my previous job. But maybe my, my, maybe my big challenge that I faced is no was uh, I don't know reaching reaching a goal in the in the in the month of low sales. Which was uh April. Excellent, very good. Well, thank you, Fernando, for your time. I'll we'll just give you a little feedback and move you to our account manager. Who's going to make you one or two questions? And don't be shy. Don't be nervous. Basically, you already have. Sorry. You already have the job. The position is yours. Let's work on this. Okay. So, 
furniture. Furniture, you cannot pluralize that word. That's an uncountable, okay? okay? Many challenge, many challenges. There you have to pluralize many challenges, okay? And last one, in the month of low sales, in the month, the month. In the month. In the, the month. month of low sales. Okay. So let me transfer you to Gracia. She's, she's going to be with you in just a second. Okay. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Fernando. How are you? Hi, Arison. Um, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Good to hear that. Uh, I got a very good reference from my teammate. And I would like to ask you a couple of questions. We have been improving our... A company recently and we would like to also include um, AI tools. Do you have any experience uh, regarding AI? Uh, yeah, I have uh, a little experience. I I took a course online and I I know some some tools. That's good. Excellent. Uh, what about Gamma? Have you heard of it? No, I didn't hear about that. But uh, I, I can investigate yeah, about. Don't worry. We're going to make sure that you are an expert in AI, especially Gamma. And I have another, just another question. Uh, which one do you think or will you say it's your greatest achievement uh, up to today? Sorry, I, I, sorry, I, can, I can hear well. The last part. Uh, what is your greatest achievement? My greatest greatest achievement related with my career. Uh, yeah. Mm, okay, I I have a goal for the for the next year. I expect uh, I expect uh, starting a a master degree. So, but I need this job for that. So, <laughs> I. I hope that my experience it will be helpful for you and for the company, and I will and I hope we'll reach all the goals and reach my my goals, the objective for the company. And I don't know. Okay, great job! Thank you. That was good. Um, you got a eighty percent of chances of getting hired. I, I could tell you that as a recruiter, I could hire you, you know, really need people, so we will hire you. But but things that you need to improve, final sounds. Again, thanks for ask. Mm, thanks for asking. Yes. ING. Okay. Greatest achievement. She was asking you about your greatest achievement, something to to mayor logro. And you answered with a goal. Uh, no, oh, okay. yeah, a goal that I have in the future. No, something that you achieved in your life. Yeah, I, I understand great is like great, <laughs> academy great. Sorry, now this is just we're just pretending. Imagine in a real interview, <gasps> oh my god, this is really, I mean, nervousism can kill you. My experience, t t no, my experience, my experience, okay, my experience. Okay. Man, time goes by flying. You haven't been working in a call center. Believe me, these are the interviews they do, and they are go above and beyond because mm -hmm. they ask you things like, "How do you think the world was created?" or stuff like that. No, those those are those are uh, how do we call this thing? Brain teasers. My God, brain teasers are just to take you out of your comfort zone so you can stop being robotic. You know, if you're robotic, they're gonna go like, "How do you go to the moon?" and Come back in 20 seconds. Exactly. Right. Questions like that. What? Right. Okay. These exercises are very helpful here, I think, because... Don't they... worry. We will do this again, but mm -hmm. in groups, because um, it's a filter. And nowadays in call centers, even the security guard is the first filter. <laughs> Sometimes they speak English. The receptionist, you say, good morning, good guards? morning. There's guards, all of them, they were bilingual. Yeah, were... bilingual. That's why I'm saying, you know, in the, 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 the what? Oh my God, the receptionist. The receptionist was bilingual, and then you, you used to get there and say, Buenos dias. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. oh, 
Ok. Bye. Es que tengo que dejar el currículum. Excuse me. Ah, <laughs> uh, that, was, that was cruel. Ok. Who am I staying with? Who's staying for seven, eight minutes? Come on, guys. We're just restarting everything now. Uh, Ana Claudia, you stay 10 minutes, okay? Come on. <laughs> you were not here one of these classes, so it's going to be your punishment being okay. with me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Please don't miss your classes. We're just missing nine more, and that's it. Okay? 10. Good night. Okay. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present. Thank you. David Samuel Cantame Monterrosa. Present, teacher. Good night, David. Dora Elizabeth Good Flores Méndez. Present. Good night. Bye. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good night. Good night. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Present. Good night. Good night. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present, teacher. Good night. Jarvin Good night. Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present, teacher. Good night, Jervin. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Left. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Okay, good night. Juan Miguel Brown Mejia. Send the state still. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Good night, teacher. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night, William Alexander Ramirez Flores. You got disconnected. Okay, guys, see you. Good night. Good night. Was I too hyper? <laughs> no. no, you're right. okay. What happened? Uh -uh. I don't know why. Uh... While days are going on, people is like uh, not talking too much. I don't know if they are too busy with their jobs or what. But at the very beginning of the classes, yes, people were they were participating more. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. Like they are that, afraid. You know what? In every group I have had in virtual classes, the same thing happened. You are mm -hmm. in the main in the main classroom. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to talk. Everybody's mm -hmm. quiet. But when they go into the breakout rooms, they go like, ah. No, when I was in the breakout room, for example, to in my in the exercise for today, uh, no, they were, their pictures were there, but uh, Wendy was busy, Francisco was busy, the other ones, they weren't there. So at the end, it was like, oh my God, <laughs> you were talking uh, alone. It happens mm -hmm. sometimes. And, and after that, the... Uh, you ask, I, I'm always asking how these people go and they pass the platform and they pass all the, I don't know, the, the test and they. Uh, don't, don't judge. Do Stop judging. No, I don't know. No, you, mean, you, mean, you mean what? Because they're not participating. No, exactly. How they do. You know, some of them already, life, I mean, are, already have like some knowledge. Some of them do an extra effort, I guess, and review the class. Because remember, remember, we upload the video, right? Exactly. To the platform and to YouTube. So that's the main purpose as well. You know, at the beginning, um, I remember at the beginning of this program, the virtual classes were not included. Mm. In fact, there were not going to be classes itself. I don't know how. Oh, I remember. Insafor wanted a platform mm -hmm. for students to use the workbooks and then go to the platform and finish the exercises. Ah, okay. That was their idea. Mm -hmm. But then then the boss, uh, the owner of English Corporativo, had the great idea of in including the English classes, you know, mm -hmm. and started with this, with virtual classes. I will dare to say we were like the first academy on giving virtual classes because this started before the pandemic. This started around 2018, I remember. Awesome. And I was on the first classes. It was so funny because he was like, hey, uh, would you mind staying another hour, you know, in one of the classrooms and, <laughs> and start teaching? And I'm like, what, what am I teaching? Oh, just this topic. Okay, okay, cool. 
and, and how you handle you need to handle the time you need to handle the way how people look at you it, it's stuff like that i learned mm -hmm. i don't i i have it's, i feel like normal you know i just exactly. act like myself in real life that's but it it's weird that you're talking and all the screens are turned it off sometimes i turn it off because i'm moving i'm getting something else you want to know my secret uh-huh even in live classes i'm always talking to myself <laughs> i'm always pretending i'm a teacher uh -huh. it's just you have to get into your role into mm -hmm. your character you do that 10 seconds before the class and then you stay on the roll for yes, the it's like a performing hours. something yeah, i understand uh, it's the same thing at work mm -hmm. if you are presenting something to a board of directors or your results your monthly results or your kpis whatever mm -hmm. just think you're the best audit it Get happens to me because i need to to i need to make demos to my customers and I send a link, I make a Google Meet, and I need, you know what I love the most is that I un I understood that people that is purchasing equipment, they've been drivers all the time and they had the opportunity to save money, but now they became their uh, own boss. They create a company, they had the money, but they didn't study, they did, nobody, teach them how to do taught. things and they need to admin their own company they, and nobody is, taught them nobody taught them nobody i'm sorry nobody taught them i always got trouble with the, uh, that that's common that's common mm -hmm, with the when, you, when you don't use aux auxiliary ah, okay. you're not using an auxiliary so you say nobody no one and then in the past right nobody nobody told me that before uh -huh. nobody, nobody taught. taught him or talk talk yeah, T O T. I got you. I understand English. <laughs> Don't Nobody do that. Told them. No, okay. Nobody told them how to handle, how to admin their own company. So what I love the most is to send a link. Okay, you know, just click here, teach them and show them how the system works in, on a benefit with with on benefits with, with them. Wait, and so you're it, selling a system? Yeah, I'm a software? A, it's a, no, it's hardware and software because it's a little box, like a sandwich size. It's a plastic box, but it has a GPS and also has internet. So it syncs with apps for uh, weather and also for traffic. But wow. the system recognizes the users, the drivers and the admin. So the driver, they, they must download an application on their mobile phones. Once they download the application, they sign up, but they sync with the equipment installed in the vehicle through the mm -hmm. Bluetooth. Oh, that first thing goes direct to the platform handled by the admin. So since they want uh, to the present, they have all the historical drivers laws but also the equipment record the equipment is able to uh, find and uh, recognize a phone call mechanical phone call or what you know, yeah and what happened is that it who, who plugs it in who who connects this thing to the the, the same driver the same people is plug and play so the wow. amazing thing is that they are aware how their business is running. Because, you know, it, for the Department of Transportation, if you make, if they make a violation, the violation goes to the company, not to the driver. So that is the important thing. They need to understand that this equipment is some, the best investment they can do. Also, if they attach a dash. It's to, prevent. It's exactly prevent, but also at the same time, they are aware of what happened. You know, what um, some customers discovered their best deed, their best friend been working with them as a driver. But what happened is that they were stealing fuel. So they discovered things like that. And it's so crazy, but these uh, um, invisible things are measured and measurable. So that is important. And, and what I love the most is when people say, you know, it's the first time, I don't know what it is. Uh, it's the first time I'm going to 
uh, use Try anything like this, it. exactly. Blah, blah, blah. So let me show you how. <laughs> oh my and God. You know, the best sales come from there because I assisted a, a man, a customer, you know, a customer last uh, April. My mm -hmm. surprise was because I tried to treat with people in the same way. I respect you, I blah, 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 well, in the same level. The thing is that this guy surprised me because at the end he told me, okay, uh, I need five, five equipment. Ah, oh, okay. And I was so surprised because it's not usual, it's not common that you sell five. What's the price of this box? Uh, they need to, the, the box, the cost for the hardware is $150, but the service is $50 per month. But my goal is that they purchase the dash cam too because that is a metric for my KPI. Mm -hmm. So there are some promos and you then you make the negotiation if you... You got to do the upsell. Exactly. So if you make the payment quarterly, I can give you the hardware for free, and blah, blah, blah. If you pay annual. So you make the negotiation. So um, the thing is that this guy, at the end, he has like 20 trucks. You know how I sold to him? Until last week, we have one, ten. I almost, I sold to him 17 equipments and there are missing five more. So every month he's, <laughs> he's purchasing new equipment and that helps me a lot. But it's, but it's because how you try people. How do you treat, you, know, you treat people? How do you treat people? Yes. All you spoke us, to him in English? Huh? You, you yeah, talked to him in English? Uh, the name of the the box? No, the no, no. You you talk to him in English to this customer. On oh, sometimes I have English customer, but I mostly I have Spanish. But this this guy that you sold, you know, was Spanish. It a Spanish, Spanish, a Spanish, Spanish uh, business owner. Wow. Yeah. And do yeah. you deal with whole Latin Latin America, Latam, or or just the states? Yeah, Latin America. Yeah, I deal with uh, both Latin and English, but it's not. What they realize, the company realizes the ninety percent of the people who is purchasing equipment is Spanish. They are Spanish, and they hmm. want to look at it that way. You so there's know, something. There's something you're not looking onto your device. Exactly. If if a lot of Hispanic people and is buying this product, issue. it's exactly. because there is a glitch on the box, exactly. or there is something on the box that is calling their attention. Something exactly. you can do. The, One the thing could be itself. really. One thing could be tracking down where police is. You know, to... exactly. <laughs> just like wait. No, you know they have to switch. They change. For example, the um, they change the languages in the application. Now we offer three languages: French, English, and Spanish. And so, all that is configured during the setup, the first setup of the. No, they can the... switch it at any time. They can switch it. No, I mean, but the first time that you help them. You oh yeah, them know, right? it's, I send the instructions and I try to be in communicate constant communication with them if, if there is something that I don't know how to do it of course I try mm -hmm. to direct with tech support but I introduce with the tech agent I explain I want this this and that because... I guess you don't have HD <laughs> no <laughs> I don't have no it, I don't have that metric in the past in other accounts that when I that was my big issue because I talk and talk with the customer because I want to make sure they understand they are making an intelligent decision and That's that is how you sell when people understand what they are doing you are well the main thing is that you believe in your products oh yes even though I haven't touched any of them <laughs> in my life but I know how they work what I wait mean. wait is huh? is Seta still on the lab I'm sorry is okay. Seta still on the lab on the third floor Oh, Seta remember Lonnie? that I'm not on the side. I'm working from no, home. No, no, I know, but you know who is Seta, right? No, I don't. I don't know. What? Seta? I don't know who is Seta. Remember, Z the, I was in the side last Friday, but uh -huh. I was moving from uh, the fourth floor from one building to the second floor of the other one. I know. Before I will go there. Nah, but just find out who is Seta. Okay. I don't know if it's that big boy. No. Oh. He went out. There was an uh, there was an issue. I don't know what happened. There was uh, a trouble with I don't know. But he was a uh, let go. Fight? Yeah, fight. I said this fire. Fire. Okay. 
but then there was uh, the resolution at the end of the of the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, they realized it wasn't his fault. It was something with sensitive oh information. I don't know. But at the end, he came back. Everybody was so happy. Yeah, yes, he's still there. It's just it, he he used to be in the lab, and we used to go there very often to find out more about video um no, so games well. and thing i mean oh my god the laboratory and he helped you a lot so yeah the laboratory was amazing was... <laughs> now they are on the fourth floor they are in the yeah mm -hmm. i think it was the fourth i can remember anyways okay it was amazing to talk to you thank you very much <laughs> thank for you staying. i'll see you tomorrow okay okay thank you good, good night, night. Bye, bye